到黑暗吧，我的孩子。My name is XLJ, and we got some pretty big news for Terrasland. The Chinese servers are getting their last beta test, and there's also some upcoming changes that you might have missed, which I will be going through in this video. But without further ado, let's have a look at the trailer that they just released, and let's see how it is. A lot of dragons. But that's the boss from the last beta test. I remember those game mechanics. Nice. Oh, these are the arena map. I enjoyed the PvP in this game. I really enjoyed it the last time. Well, there it is. So yeah, the beta test is for March the 18th. This over there for the CN servers. Interesting, so this trailer was showcasing the previous raid boss that we got on the global servers and also 3v3 arena, so maybe they are getting those and that's new to them. I'm not pretty sure, I didn't follow the Chinese servers that much. But there are some upcoming changes that they announced that I think a lot of people missed out on, so let's have a look at them. So first off, we got the female version of the Paladin and she looks pretty good now they the devs made a tweet about this in English so a lot of people knows about this one already but this looks pretty good this one a lot of people I don't think are aware of this was only posted on the Chinese website for the game and it seems like this is gonna be the male version of the mage I like how his eye is shining. I don't know if that's going to be a thing in the game, but this looks pretty cool. I'm okay with this. I mean, it is a mage, so you don't want a bulky guy or a giga chat. I think this looks pretty decent. I don't like this that much, but I think it's just the lightning and everything that makes it not look that great. Other than that, this looks pretty good. 
And then next we have a really big one here, news related. They are saying, I'm using a Google Translate here, but they were saying they are focusing on bringing a richer selection of secret skill. Now, if you don't know what secret skills are, you basically get a certain amount of secret skills and you can choose between them for PvP or PvE, it kind of depends. You can This gives you customization for your class. Now, I'm going to read what the devs were saying. The number of secret skills corresponding to each specialization of each class will be increased from 6 to 8. That's right, if you haven't noticed, on, on this picture, as you can see, there's not only 6 as it was before, it's now 8 that you can choose between. And they will give more options like silence, sleep, immobilize, stun, and break away from, con from CC effects, and so on. So they're, they're adding more stuff for PvP, especially, it seems like. And another thing I want to show is they increased the skill slots here. This used to be two skill slots. You can now choose between three out of the eight skills that you want to use. But this is a pretty big change they're doing to the game. And then the last thing that they're saying is that since they changed this to three skills and you get to choose between eight, especially for PvP to balance things out, they will definitely have a look at the stuff and maybe change, adjust some of the skills to make sure it is pretty balanced. Hopefully they do a good job on that one. Another thing that the dev said is they are changing some mechanics of how some of the classes works and they took the Bart as an example. They said in the previous test that the Bart was generally reported that the, it was too complex and too difficult to use him and the treatment benefits were insufficient so i guess it's like too difficult and little reward therefore we have made more adjustments to the mechanics they're saying that they adjusted the solo specialization from three notes to two notes now i didn't play bart unfortunately so i'm not sure what they're talking about the bart players out there will know what it's all about let me know down below in the comments if you understand it Seems like the Chinese server already has more than 2 million players that pre-registered for the beta and they are aiming for 10 million. I think they can do it if they got 2 million just now, it was just announced a few minutes ago. Also don't forget to press that sub button if you want to stay up to date with more MMORPG news, gacha news, game news, I do everything. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Terrasland. I played the close beta test on the previous one and it looks pretty promising. I know there was a lot of drama with the pay to win thing. That is pretty unfortunate. I'm not a pay to win fan, but hopefully the game won't be too much pay to win. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about Terrace Land and I'll see you on the next one. Take care and stay safe. Peace out, peace out, peace out.